Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review Gaming with the Rhino. Today we are going to play this. Um, uh, I've never played this. Apparently one of my buddies did. Uh, and he played it for what? One minute? Awesome. Uh, we are going to play Lords of the Fallen. So first we have to pick our magic. Okay, so we have Deception, Solace, or Brawling Magic. Uh, brawling Magic, what's it say here? The art of brawling is to overwhelm your opponent with pure force and mighty spells. Well, that's kind of what I am, but hey. Deceiving the enemies and injuring them beyond recovery is the main focus of deception magic. Uh, force contains mostly defensive spells to heal and protect yourself. That's probably good for staying alive in a game like this. Anyway, let's see. Solace gives you prayer. Okay, shelter, uh, these. Rain. Quake. Going with brawling equipment. Give me a warrior, rogue, or cleric. Heavy armor, steel sword, heavy shield, it's a kite shield. Okay, what's it say here? The standard gear given to pardoned prisoners recruited to the army. Steel armor plates will give the soldier exceptional defense at the cost of agility. The purpose-built sword and shield will complement the set. Uh, rogue. Mostly worn by thieves and scoundrels. This leather armor allows for high mobility. A set of daggers are simple, simple but very fast and deadly weapons. Buckler shield. Mostly used to counterattack the enemy. Rounds off this kit. Um... And then Cleric, set forged by and for the Battle Monks of the North, the balance between mobility and defense, unique with a formidable blunt weapon and high quality shield, makes this a solid choice for an all-rounder. <sighs> See, I would be a Cleric, but I also like Warrior, but he looks awesome. Um, you know what, let's be a Warrior. And then lastly, what's this last part here that I'm choosing? Summary. Well known for fighting first, as Okay, yeah, extras, health potion, ghost merch shirt. Yeah, let's go do this. Let's do this. I have no clue how to play this game. Some enemies lurk in the shadows. Better look around twice before taking a thoughtless step to your demise. Use right stick to examine your surroundings. Okay. Fallen God, creator and destroyer of worlds, hear my vow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Should have been a cleric. Just get that hammer. It's an awesome hammer. That is a very awesome hammer. I'm kind of jealous not having that hammer now. I just get a sword. Not the cool hammer. The monastery's ahead. I wonder if it is still safe. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. First Royal Combat is on your enemy. <sighs> Press right stick now. Notice the two brackets that appear. Okay, the most intuitive way of not getting hit is to block to raise your shield. Uh, press and hold. Okay. Any behavior is bound by the same rules as yours. They can be staggered like the Marauder is now. This is the perfect window. Try a fast hit with right bumper. Tip weapons have different move sets, meaning not all strikes fit all time windows. Okay. Don't stop now. Press RB again. Evasion is also a perfect viable strategy, but needs the right timing. Tilt the left stick to either side, left or right, uh, and holding it. Press A. Heavy strikes require right trigger. You can follow up the next heavy attack with right trigger now.
things keep coming. We fight back, but there are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to. And their smell. It's like fire and death creeping up your nose. One of the creatures we were fighting spat on us. The saliva hit my eye. It burned, and it burns deeper into me. Still losing blood, Kazlo. The Rogar got you good. I didn't let you out of prison to worry about me. You're no use to me if you bleed to death. I will try to spare you the inconvenience of my death. So far I've seen only corpses, no survivors. The Rogar have clearly breached the walls of the monastery, and Tanus would have given his life to protect his people. If he is alive, then some of them might have survived too. The man we're looking for. How will we find him? He's the leader of all humanity. If we find his guards, we'll find him. There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps, or a key. rather dark. No way to... Yeah, okay, I get that. I'm trying to look if there is a... No, there isn't. Not during the game. Okay. Oh, fucker. Up. I can't see a thing. This game is way too dark.
It is in me, and it is changing me, my skull. The bones are moving, growing. It does not feel like poison in my veins, more like liquid darkness. We have seen with others what happens next. Eyesight goes first, then follows sanity. Brother William, Brother Peter and I won't let the disease take us. We will choose death before it chooses us. Dear Father, the fires on the horizon, they are spreading towards our village. I beg you, be careful. Something evil is happening. I can feel that. You can always seek refuge here, in the monastery. Whatever happens, Antanas can save us. Please, please, be safe. Side, but it's not always free. You might want to remember the location of this magical portal. It opens up once you have defeated a formidable enemy. One enemy, one portal. Okay. And so there's a formidable enemy somewhere for me to try and kill. And you off here again.
Almost done this game for now. All that's left is to go visit our big buddy upstairs and try not to die to him again. I need to turn up the gamma on this game. I can't see shit. And I know that's kind of what they're aiming for, but uh, being blind and all, I kind of need to see a little bit. And I can't. Is there a way to save now? I'm done. I don't want to play it right now. I actually like the game. I really do. I just, uh... I'm sure it's going to be a lot like uh, Dark Souls and that I need to... specifically find something to save with.
Yeah, when I come back to play the game again, I'm gonna have to raise the gamma. Because I can't see shit. Oh, I can see here. I have my shield up. Stop ya. to evade that. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Okay, we can do this. I get it. I get it. It's all about his pattern. Okay. Learn his pattern. You got it. I got it. 
evade the giant lunges. Block with your shield the other ones. I got it. Oh, that didn't work out the, quite the way it was supposed to. One, two, three, four. No. Uh. Uh. Shield up. Shield up. Shield up. Ugh. Shield up. Ugh. My fucking god. Okay, well that's gonna be it for now. Um, yeah. There's no reason to keep playing this right now. I just gotta get the... I gotta get the gamma up so I can see better. Then I gotta get used to rolling around. It's it's a lot like Dark Souls where one mistake is all it takes. But unlike Dark Souls, it's not as forgiving at the same time. Dark Souls is a harder game from what I've learned. But it's more forgiving in the learning... Anyway...